Hey, Jim. Yeah, what's up? Hey, do you hear that uh, buzzing again? What buzzing? Oh, yeah, I hear it. It goes like... It must be that drone enthusiast in the neighborhood again. Ah, oh, I wonder what he's up to. I hope he's not doing anything nefarious. All right. Shall I go check it up? Yeah, you should check it out. Okay, that's easy. Because today we live in 2022 and we have new special applications for our phones. And what we can do now is we can just click a bunch of buttons on our phones. And there's an app. And the app, what it does is it gives us direct vision onto whatever drone is, is flying on top of our house. So now, if we hear a drone, at a quick click of a button, we can lock into the signal and we can see exactly what the pilot is seeing. And that is cool because then we can do a screen record directly on our phone and we can capture the data that's going on from the camera on the DJI or whatever other drone that's out there, which then gives us evidence of wrongdoing or not wrongdoing of whoever's piloting the drone. Wow, imagine if we actually had something that cool. That would be amazing, wouldn't it? It would, it would indeed, because it would also provide for some fun entertainment. So flying around the neighborhood is kind of cool and you get some really nice shots of the sky now not everybody wants to buy themselves a drone but a lot of people love watching other people fly the drones around and especially since we're human beings so we cannot fly ourselves it's kind of cool that we should be able to watch and see things from above uh, how far up maybe not that many feet as what some of the other pilots do so maybe it's okay if there's a certification for people who want to fly really high up in places where they could smash into a helicopter or a plane that is manned so basically a manned aircraft right it, it makes sense that people would want to be certified and um you know go through other hoops and stuff if they wanted to fly really, 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 really high up there in the sky. And again, where you're kind of invading the space of other manned vehicles. So if you were to crash into those, you could cause real people to fall out of the sky and get injured, right? That makes sense right there. However, however, is this something that you can do? Yes, it is but there's no app for it yet. And so it would be cool if they did put together an app for that rather than have this crazy remote ID thing because what you see here is a drone. And this drone is um, less than, just by a little bit, 250 grams, which makes it a toy drone based on what the FAA believes. As you can see right there, I didn't make up the numbers. So, um, when you have one of these and then you attach a module on top of it, let's say you have some kind of weird module, you stick it up on there. Now, whatever module you stick up on there makes this drone go over the 250 gram limitation and then it's no longer considered to be a... Um, a toy drone and so therefore if you want to fly this drone you have to have a certification but most importantly it's it's less safe now because if it falls out of the sky and it hits you on the head it is pretty heavy pretty heavy now not if it's just 250 grams and also not based on the design that it is right now we could take something that is 250 grams and let it drop and see how it drops compared to what this or how this would drop and you notice especially if the, the blades are spinning that this even if it's falling out of the sky because something went wrong is not going to topple down as quickly as something else which is a different shape and form and so on based on the physics and stuff so 
a lot of the crap that is going on today is is being um, is becoming very annoying because um, you can't do that with digital systems. You can do that with the other kinds of systems, the analog systems, which means that today, if I, for instance, am flying around the neighborhood and you want to tap into my video signal, and most of my drones are not digital, they are analog. So the FPV drones, if you have one of these doohickeys right here, which is somewhere between $30 and $60, you can tap into my signal and you can see exactly what I am seeing when I'm seeing it, which is cool because then you can police me directly and see if I'm doing anything nefarious, which you won't find me do because what I like to do is just tour the neighborhoods and sometimes take videos of cool objects such as uh, sculptures and RC cars and things like that. So we already live in a society where you can do that so long as people are doing FPV analog. But with digital systems, it isn't so cool. What does that mean for digital systems going forward? They may become banned pretty soon. And you know that, unless someone makes some cool kind of device or app where you can just tap in and people can see what the pilot can see, which would actually reduce the chances of people doing nefarious things. Because if you're a pilot and you know that everybody can see exactly what you're seeing, you know you can get caught, and so you're not as likely to do nefarious things because you know that anybody with a phone or anyone with one of these can see what you're seeing. Anyway, hope this information is useful to you, and I'll see you all in the next one.